Hi guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Shane. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Breaking news, Nigerians. Governor Akero Dulu reportedly dies after prolonged battle with leukemia. The Ondo State Governor Rotimi Akerudolu is late, according to a report by Sahara Reporters. The news agency noted that a family source told them the governor passed on on Wednesday in Lagos. It was also gathered that he was managed by state house doctor up to the time he passed on because they could not fly him abroad. Governor Akeru Dulu is late. He died in Lagos, the source said. They were looking for dialysis machine to be sent to his secret location in Lagos last week. The late governor was 67 years old. It is to be recalled that the ailing governor returned to Nigeria in September following a three-month medical leave in Germany and only recently proceeded on another one after he was directed by President Bola Tinibu to hand over power to his deputy. Loki Ayeda Tiwa. His deputy Ayeda Tiwa has been standing in as acting governor. Following his return to Nigeria in September, Akere Delu stayed in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, and tried to govern his state from there leading to public outrage. On July 9th, Akeru Delu's wife, Betty, announced the suspension of activities lined up to celebrate a 70th birthday. The Ondo First Lady announced the suspension of the activities in Twitter posts after questions were raised over plans to have a fanfare despite her husband's heel head. It was earlier announced that the late Ondo State Governor commenced his medical leave days ago as a follow-up to his medical treatment. His spokesman, Richard Olatunde, said. Olatunde had said during Akeru Dolu's absence, the deputy governor, Loki Aide Tewa, will assume the responsibilities of the governor in acting capacity. Rotimi Akere Dolu was a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, and former president of the Nigeria Bar Association. He won his re-election as the state governor in October 2020 and was sworn in 
for a second term in office in February 2021. However, the governor's second term since January 2023 has not been a smooth sail as he had to be flown, flown abroad for treatment over a medical conditions in June. The 67 years old politician returned to Nigeria in September after months overseas but stayed in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. So guys, how did you see to the demise of this great politician? What a great loss to the entire citizens of Ondo State. What a great loss to the nation. What a great loss to his family. Indeed, he has been managing this prolonged illness for months now. After being flown abroad for medical treatment without solution. Even this period of his illness, it was recorded that there has been a series of troubles in the state among the House of Assembly members and the Deputy Governor. There has been a series of criminal activities signing checks on his behalf to loot the state treasury by forging the governor's signature. Anyway, may his soul rest in peace. So guys, kindly share your thought on this and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.